Welcome back to the point and click community for people like me with no to limited IT experience. We are touching stuff we shouldn't touch actually. Today we touch stuff what we should touch once in a while. So you bought the nice shiny router, you have it sitting there, does its stuff and you don't bother looking in but once in a while we should look in so today we are updating the firmware i'm using the merlin firmware so first you want to put the ip address from your router in your web browser and to make it easier just bookmark it and add it to your bookmarks we should update these routers because of all the security patches coming out even if you dual NAT and this is going too far into IT stuff because we are no IT people so let's uh, do that then you sign in and you will notice an exclamation mark at least on our Asus routers. This exclamation mark lets you know that there's a new firmware available for this router. Like I said, I use the Merlin firmware on this router. I make it real easy. I just click on update now. It gets me to the firmware update page on that router. And you can run another check if you want. So it's connecting to the server. It will let you know there is another update available. Now, if you look down here, this is the new update. If you click on it, you get some info on that update. And you see, they fixed the security issue right away here and some other stuff. Now, here it's real easy. I click on visit the download site. And I want to install the newest release, so I click on release. And here it is, the 386.2.6. It's a zip file. I download that zip file. And it will tell me here when I start the download. Now it starts downloading. See it on the bottom of your browser. Before we move on to the download file, I go back to my router. I close this. I leave a link to the Merlin firmware in the description just in case you're still running the ASUS one. I click on the tab, Restore Safe Upload Settings. And I wanna save my configuration settings. Usually don't, you don't have to do it, but in case something goes wrong, I have at least my configuration settings. And it gives you here, it can harm your computer. You click on keep. Now I saved my configuration settings. Go back to firmware upgrade. Right now, we are not able to upload that firmware because it is a zip file. So we got to unzip it first. I'm going to show this in the folder. So it opens my downloads folder. Let me drag it over here. This is the backup of the configuration settings, what I just saved. We don't need that right now. What we are interested in is in the zip file, so we unzip that or extract all. So we are extracting it. I just extracted in the same folder in my downloads folder. And you see all the files here. You can look at the readme file in the change log and so on if you're inclined to do so. We are just moving on. Back to the web browser, click on upload. Now navigate into that folder, click on the W file here and click on open. And that's basically it. Now you wait. In the time we are waiting, if you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button 
I noticed that some people hit it multiple times and unsubscribe again from the channel. So our router booted back up, so we log in again. Seems to be everything is in order. Just in case if some people with uh, more IT knowledge watching here, you see I dual NAT because we have multiple routers in here for demonstrations. As you can see here, the firmware version is updated to the newest version. You can run a check and it will let us know that we are running the newest version. That's it. That's all we had to do. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Hit that notification bell and give that video a like also. I hope you have a great week. I will see you in the next time.